Hello friends and welcome to this amazing lecture of LET where we'll be applying some of the concepts from our previous courses. If you've not, then please check that's a free course, Python 101 for beginners. And there we have created a very cool application to download or to view an Instagram profile picture. So we'll be using FLET application or FLET framework to develop that application. And let's get started. So to, to begin with, what we need to do is we need to import FLET as FT. So we'll be coding uh, the whole application from scratch. So it's advised that you can also you, know, you can also code along if you want. And I'll just go ahead and change the Python interpreter as okay. That's it's, it's global. Okay. Now the library which I require is import install loader. Now import blog. And I'll be telling why do we need these libraries or these modules to be imported. Now, uh, to go ahead with, like what we need to do is we just need to add a basic path or we can just start with the function that's the function is main. We create a function and then we call a page here. So for that, let's just go ahead and save this file profile. It's giving me some error. I don't know why. So I can do one thing is that I can just rename this application file as one second. Just rename this as text or test dot py okay test dot py is already there so we can have dp dot py that's display picture dot py just copy and paste it here to be completed clear process okay now we have something error free or warning free now we can create a button so we have button function button click with an event of course e and close function again now inside this function now what what we need to do is a basic structure is that the, the user would enter a username and the username would be fetching the profile picture so if if the username has not ent entered anything that is text dot name dot value if nothing is present so if that if not if not entered by the user so we have if not this value then we have text dot name dot error underscore text and that text is please enter a username is equals to it has please enter a user name okay so that would be the warning sure now and uh, we can just update the page as page dot update and close the brackets. Now, if the user has not entered anything, then we give this warning to the user. If the user enters something, then we have else. So we have else. What the user might, what what should the program or what should the application perform is first take the username from the user. That's 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 exactly what we require. Now. For the application or for the library, we have created an object that is obj is equals to. I create an object for install loader that that's insta insta loader dot get username no. insta loader dot insta loader yeah this one no it's capital I so in Yes, now created the object. After creating the object, we can use that object to download the file or the image. Download underscore profile and then we pass the username. But after that username, what we need to do is comma, we need to pass a parameter that's profile pick only. So profile pick only gives like access to the only the profile picture of the 
gives an input and we have path is equals to OS dot get CWD that's current working directory because we need it. now we have user path so this is just a variable which I created to just ease out something so we have path is equal to or else path plus and then we just join that with the username at the end so because a folder would be created there that's why we require this that would be username so the path is created now so for for the safe side what we do is we print the user path okay and now at the end we have file path or we just create file path where the file would be actually present it's equals to glob dot so whatever glob library we had done so what does glob do it it allows you to find a file of a particular format for example you are trying to search a file which is a dot jpg extension or a dot txt extension so you just have to give that path to glob and it will go ahead and find the exact file extension for you so here what we require is user path dot star and then that star would after that we need a jpj because the image would be in the jpj extension right now so we are done almost and then we have for i in file path so if something is present so then if if you see this the glob returns the file path in a form of a list so we need a for loop to see or to check what is there inside and then what we do is page dot add we add that as an image so ft dot image ft is flat image and the source would be src is equals to the i which you found out now i and after that i you just have the width or the height of the image that is width is equals to let's say 300 comma height is equals to again 300 and we update the page so page dot update closes now we've, we've done this the whole functionality now there are some warnings so we'll have to remove these warnings now so after this in outside this function that is outside this main in, inside this main itself but outside the button click function what we need is we need the text name so we can add the text name and uh, text underscore name is equals to and we are passing it as ft dot text field so txt text field here and we can give a label to it as label is equals to what i pass it user yeah. so now we just need to add a couple of things here again to get started so we can just copy and paste some part from here itself that is this part i need the text name first and then everything else remains the same this part so text underscore name so it's not text dot it's text underscore name so that warning is gone now i need text underscore name here again and here again text underscore name now i just copy some parts and paste it here below this first is after the text here and then some things here now why did i do this here because i after i attach the path here i need to attach the assets directly that's where the image would be exactly located for the flat application to know so let's just run it and check do we get to see the okay so that's the application that's the text field and i'll just uh, paste my ground dot fly dot build so that's the instagram page which we have and let's just go ahead and view the image oh that's it so i can view the image here and it's it's fantastically working fine you can see the image here so this is an application a real time application of the flat application now this application which is there 
we'll see that how this application, if it is working in a Python file, you can package it in the form like using a bind installer and you can use it on a Windows or a Mac machine. So we'll be doing that in the future lectures. Till then, stay tuned and thank you.